Hey, what's going on guys? Matt Gunnipson here from The Transformation Couple. On this video, we're going to discuss the topic of how much does an Amazon FBA business actually cost? How much does it cost to run? Now, there's obviously going to be a lot of range here because there's all different kinds of models of ways to sell on Amazon. For example, there's retail arbitrage or online arbitrage, wholesale or private label. We're gonna to try to cover everything that we can think of on this video, so stay tuned. If you're new to this channel, hit the subscribe button to see more videos just like this one. And we have a free training video for you. If you're new to our channel, uh, be sure to look in the link for a description. It's a free video that shows how my wife and I went from zero to $30,000 a month after nearly going bankrupt and almost losing our house and our car. Uh, so be sure to grab that free training video. We feel it's very useful and helpful to you. Okay, so let's just start with the basics. You know, when I recommend, when I always have students come on, I don't recommend people just, you know, spend as much as they can. I honestly recommend that people learn as they go and spend for what they necessarily need right there in the moment. Now, as far as basic expenses, what's interesting is that you're gonna have the same basic expenses of whether you're running just a thousand or two thousand dollars in sales in a month, or whether you're doing 30, 40, 50, or even hundred thousand dollars in sales in a single month. So just basic expenses would include the $39.99 per month Amazon professional seller account. I recommend that you get that set up because uh, you're gonna be able to sell more products and you're gonna be able to see more metrics inside your business. And honestly, you should be selling more than 40 items per month anyway, which is the break point where it becomes more advantageous to get the professional selling account versus the individual selling account anyway. So that's the number one like base expense that you need. Now, if you're just starting out, you can use the Amazon seller app on the phone and you can scan barcodes of items and you can use that uh, just as a base to you know, just create your first shipment into Amazon's warehouse, right? So one of the biggest expenses that you're gonna run to, regardless of what business type of business that you're doing on Amazon, is inventory. I mean, honestly, it's the biggest expense. It's your cost of goods, okay? Uh, so, you know, typically we're selling items that cost, you know, anywhere from $5, $10, 15, 20 that sell for, you know, 10, 50, or excuse me, uh, higher than 10, 15, 20, 35, 50, $100. And that's typically what we're seeing. So beyond the Amazon seller app expense, um, there are some basic tools that I recommend. A lot of people will hear me talk about my, one of my previous videos about inventory lab recommend this software because it helps you track your expenses and see exactly what's going on inside your business. This is gonna allow you to scale and actually grow so you can see exactly what's going on. Beyond Inventory Lab, beyond uh, the Amazon Seller App, the next tool that I'm gonna recommend that sellers get is getting on product lists. Now, the reason that lists are so great is because it allows you to find more products to sell. You know, if you really want to scale your business, you wanna find more products, you wanna buy more products. As Amazon sellers, money is made when we're buying, not when we're selling. It's made when we're buying, okay? If you wanna sell more, you need to buy more. Now, obviously, your expenses are gonna go up if you join a list or multiple lists. As far as list expenses go, I've seen lists go from anywhere from $60 a month um, all the way to $225 per month. Now, the advantage of using Inventory Lab with a list is being able to see the profit that you're making per list so you can see which lists are the most profitable and which ones are the ones to disregard. And so, if you're using a list properly, you should be seeing five times, 10 times, even 15 times return on investment from your list. One single day on a list can make up for the total cost of the list. In fact, one item can make up for the cost of a list. Now lists are more competitive, as I've mentioned in some of my earlier videos, uh, but it allows you to find more products. Another base expense that I recommend getting is tactical arbitrage. Now tactical arbitrage runs anywhere from $100 a month to $150 a month. Uh, I recommend this tool because it's gonna help you find more products. And if you can find more products, Again, you can sell more. Now the advantage of tactical arbitrage versus a list is you're gonna find a little bit more exclusivity and less competition if you're finding the leads yourself. So that's why I recommend tactical arbitrage. 
But again, if you're starting out and you're brand new, you don't necessarily need to get lists and you don't necessarily need to get tactical arbitrage. You wanna build up your sales to the point where you're ready for that. However, somebody had just asked me, how do I get to you know, $30,000 a month, $40,000 a month? What are my base expenses when I'm getting to that level? Well, that's what I'm gonna talk about right now. So. If you're hitting $30,000 a month, $40,000 a month, here's the thing that's interesting as a lot of people don't realize and what I wanna uh, share right now is that your expenses are pretty much gonna be about the same of whether you're doing $1,000 or $2,000 of sales a month or whether you're doing $30,000, $40,000 or $50,000 a month. So I recommend getting on multiple lists. I recommend Tactical Arbitrage. I recommend Inventory Lab. I recommend the professional Amazon seller account, okay? Those are the base expenses and those are expenses are gonna run with you regardless of whatever level of sales you're gonna be at when you're doing arbitrage. So I hope that's helpful to you to help you understand that you know, uh, when you're looking at expenses, it really doesn't increase that much as far as the percentage. Now you're gonna to wanna to add some additional tools as you build your business and you get a little bit more uh, involved. For example, a repricer. Now if you haven't heard me talk about a repricer, a repricer is a tool that can find the lower price, find the higher price, and find the medium ground in between. So it'll automatically be finding the buy box price, which is the price at which an item is selling for, for you. It's an invaluable tool, and a lot of our students talk about how much it increased their sales once they got a repricer. And a repricer only costs anywhere between $25 and $50 a month. So it's not that expensive. Now beyond that, we recommend hiring virtual assistants. Now virtual assistants in the Philippines go from anywhere from $3 an hour to $4 an hour. We even have some virtual assistants who we pay them by the lead. And we pay them $120 for about, mm, about 150 product leads. So obviously this is an additional expense. And now if you've combined all of these things together, you're probably looking at around $800 per month. So for around $800 a month, we believe that we can get you to around $30,000 or $40,000 a month in sales. Now keep in mind, this is gross sales, this is not profit, right? If you're doing about $30,000 to $40,000 a month, typically we're seeing from our students that they're running around a 20% profit margin. So if they're running around 20% profit margin after all expenses, we're talking all the tools, okay? And what's not mentioned here is all the things like tape, and boxes and things like that. But still, if we're still running around a 20% profit margin, then you should be running around six, seven, or $8,000 a month profit after all expenses um, when you're doing that high level of sale. Now, if you're only doing like 1,000 or 2,000, dollars in sales in a month and you still have these expenses, then obviously your profit margin is going to be quite a bit eaten by all of the expensive tools. But again, that's not where I recommend people start. I recommend people start by building confidence, getting some sales, getting some inertia going, you know, to where they're getting those say $5,000 or $10,000 a month in sales. And then from there, they can start to add more tools so they can begin to scale more and more. So hopefully that information is helpful to you when understanding an arbitrage business. Now, obviously if we're transitioning to wholesale or private label, then we're gonna have different expenses and different tools that we recommend than if we're doing arbitrage. Now, I can't really speak as far as what are the total tools that are used inside a private label business. Um, I partnered with a gentleman named Michael Corbishley, who we have a private label training course that we teach and he shows exactly what kind of tools is necessary when doing a private label business and what kind of expenses you're gonna get when you're doing a private label business. So that's not something I'm gonna go deep into on this video. Now, another way of doing Amazon FBA is through wholesale. Now, wholesale, uh, you're gonna have a lot of the same expenses that you're gonna have with arbitrage. The difference though, is that you're gonna be using tactical arbitrage at the advanced level, which is $150 a month, so that you can run tactical arbitrage through wholesale lists to help you find products that you can source wholesale. The real big difference with wholesale and arbitrage is what people are seeing is a difference in cash flow. So with a wholesale product deal, you might place the order and then you might see the order come you know, two weeks or a month out before you actually get the products in hand ready to send to Amazon's warehouse. So the expenses are really about the same, it's just a matter of cash flow and how quickly the money's coming back to you. So anyway, that covers pretty much everything I could think of as far as tools and expenses that go into 
doing a business that's gonna reach those 30, 40, 50, or even $100,000 a month. We have students that have reached, you know, just $10,000 a month. We have students who reach 50,000, and we have students that have reached $100,000 a month. And what we're seeing is that the expenses are pretty much about the same. So I wouldn't worry too much about expenses right in the beginning, especially in the beginning, main thing to focus on is generating sales and just getting the very basic tools that you need. And so I listed a video that has a recommendation of the very basic tools that I recommended down in the description there below. So be sure to watch that video as well. Hey, if you enjoyed this information, be sure to subscribe to the channel, throw the video a like, and we'll look forward to seeing you guys on the next video. Take care guys.